control, but bear in mind there are differences here in this patch compared to the patch that we are playing on to get to this point. It does have that Lucio nerf along with the Batiste addition and the Zarya nerf as well, so the right click, the mortar spam, not quite as strong. See both teams getting here to roll out to mid. They are going to be running the mirror. 3-3 three, three with the Zin for both squads. 3-3 three, three on both sides, and we'll see how Legion play this out here. Good map hook going on the gig early on. And Contendi's actually deciding to go in pretty deep here, looking for Panker. Panker getting low early on in this fight, and now game bounce around. He's out! Panker down! Chicken Contendi's able to take him out. Very aggressive opening, and now the man advantage. Chicken Contendi's are in a pretty good spot to get first control. They are. They're in good control. Wolf also getting isolated, picked up by Salty. That is just a lot of early pressure on to Panker. Takes so much initial damage while the shield is down, and Contendi's just don't give any space. So Chicken Contendi's starting out strong here on Legion Control, and they're opting to hold pretty far forward. Well, uh, which is objectively, I think, the right play, with, especially with the thing you always hold these shows. Now we're going to see Legion try and move forward, but Ludi just absolutely lit up early on. Not without a fire going back the other way. Five on five, both sides. Shatter coming in from Gig. Going to be knocking out three for the Legion here early on. And the fall through is going to be there a little bit later. They get one pick off from it. And now this is actually quite good for Chicken Contendi's because they take their time picking off the remainder, pushing them back, and all the while, they're getting progress on the point. Incredible amount of shield pressure, and even though they lose mech for that fight, Salty loses that mech so early, I mean, to be able to catch Ludi there with the nerf feeding feels cool. Gig going pretty far forward, Panker looking for a Shadow Wolf, using Transcend's way before a grab, but the Graviton used by Harp, eaten by Bishu in the moment, so Chicken Kendi not quite gonna get the hold they want here early on. Shatter, though, for Gig early. Graviton out from Legion. They're not quite able to capitalize. Vichu's going, man, I hope this bomb actually hits the back. Instead, it's going to be Salty's bomb on the other side, connecting. And even as Legion get a little bit of progress in this point, Chicken Contendies are buying a lot of time. You see Buck actually investing the rally. Contendies, they want to fight. They want to make sure that Harbu stays alive and they continue to build time off the block. Banker right now getting close to another Shatter. Contendies for now. More than content to build progress. Barrier in Dalton. Moving forward, and Contendi's starting to get beaten down a bit here. They are, and I think this is a still a really good trade. They managed to get remeched as well, Salty came back in immediately to remeched again, but it's just more contests. And I'll trade a rally for another rally and a beat, because you see though they dropped the beat there in that fight. Contendi's gonna be very happy with that. Yeah, I think Contendi is right now 84% to Legion just now getting started. They're in a great position where even if they lose next fight, if they get Shatter, Transcendence out, they just build towards the future here. Contendi's can move forward. Shatter coming in from Panker. And so far, Contendi's not going to try and do too much here. They go, all right, fight is over. But that's fine. As we said, they have time. Good Shatter from Panker. They're just catching several on the rotation. But it is another ult out of the game for Legion. Who, and Harblu going down a little late, losing the energy, getting staggered as well. But this next fight, this is the fight where Contendi's are going to look to make their entry. They're going to be coming up on the rally, coming up on the grab. They have a lot of ults. I mean, this portal is coming up very soon as well. Not too many on Legion. For Chicken Contendi, still in a very good spot. Legion, not wanting to hold the choke point anymore. Going to be bringing this a bit further back. I think it's a little bit of a safer play as long as they continue to just try to bottle them somewhere. So now Contendi's moving in. Both sides going to be swapping out grabs here. Both teams getting the other teammate a little bit better. Buck, though. Early pickoff, water out of the fight, six on five for Contendi, to use Transcendence, moving on forward. Now this is Russ Papa, Bishu, the equalizer. Bomb can be taken down, Harpo on the other side, still winnable here for the Legion. Gig moving back forward, and this is back and forth, but Legion healthier here overall, still with the numerical advantage, should be able to push the Contendi's out. Salty, if you get Remick, it could be very huge here to get the Remick. Wolf has been controlling the White Room as well, getting so much spam, gonna rotate back, and the problem with Contendi's is that they just didn't have a lot of health on the point. No, not in the least. And now, Legion, they've fought their way back into this game here. You take a look at the progress. It's now Contendies. They're in a very tough position time-wise, and even getting to the point with proper position is going to be quite difficult now. It's going to be very tough, and they have very few ults even to contest. Legion will definitely have all three support ults to the Shatter. So much available for this bank. Let's see if Panker can back, get back to form here, drop the Shatter, end this before it even begins. Contendies, of course, have got some point. They're posturing like they have something to use the early barrier. And the Shatter from Panker, not going to do anything. Chicken Contendies in a decent spot. They go forward here. Again, on the beat out Legion. Dalton using the grab. Grab and transcend straight out just about the same time. Harm out of the fight early. Giga dropped the Shatter the other way. Not going to get much of anything. So ultimate change on both sides. Contendies working at man disadvantage now. Missing quite a bit of damage from Hard being out of the fight. 
Find the rematch midway through. Panker has another shatter. Build it up in the middle of the fight. Gonna drop it here again. And this time it's gonna pay some dividends as the Legion start finishing out the fight. Overtime ticks down. And the Legion fought their way back in. It was actually an incredibly close fight considering the huge old bank Legion had in comparison. But their focus fire was a little lacking. Panker's first shatter didn't get a ton of value. Got a much more at the end of the fight. I mean, got bucked down. And hard blue going down early there. So that's such a key fight. It's been reiterated at pretty much every level of Overwatch right now in 3-3. Without Rosario, without the utility, without the damage, especially someone that's as impactful as Harbu is for this squad, it's very tough to win the prolonged fight. Particularly, again, it's just the damage you're missing, where even though in this patch, relative to the patch before, Zarya does a bit less damage, she's still one of your primary sources in the 3-3 setup. So Legion going out of their way to focus Harb the way they did in the last few fights definitely worked out for them. Big reason why they're able to bring things back. But now we go to the Night Market. See how this opening fight went. Chicken Kazan, he's pretty good in the alt neutral fights. Definitely very good there. You see Solvi trying to control this courtyard here. Versus Bijou. A lot of aggression coming on the Legion front line. And already they're able to get water down immediately. Water has been kind of the whipping boy right now for Chicken Contendi. It's who they go to to get early pickoffs against the Legion. And off of that, they're able to just snowball it a bit. Move a bit forward. Look to see you get a little bit more. But now they need to go back over the point and get progress started. Winning that first fight once again, that neutral fight continues to focus fire, especially on the front line, has been very strong. Well, Legion not wasting a lot of time moving back in, but Water down first again. Bishu got pretty low, couldn't stay in to really help him out there. The Chicken Contendies off the early poke on the Bishu, and the pickoff again, gonna easily take the fight. Gonna take that fight, no ult being used either. They're controlling the first. This is a great fight so far, a great round for Contendies. They can now stagger their ults for the upcoming fight. They can set up the grab. They can just use Rally to get the Trance out of Rolf as well. They have so many options. And just like the map before, Chicken Contendies holding pretty aggressively here. Wanting to make them stop the Legion every turn. Harblu setting up for the flank. Lands a Graviton from the side. Fall through moving in to force out the Transcendence from Legion here. So Legion certainly not out of it yet. Now Dalton, Graviton of his own. Gonna be forcing out the Transcendence from Rob. Both teams investing ults. And so far, everyone's still totally healthy. Legion, though, the rally. Four and water builds it up midway through. Panker moves in. They get two. The pop to back from Bishu. Gonna be the finisher. But Salty got two, but it's not gonna be enough. Definitely won't be enough. Salty now just going to point the delay. Both teams investing just about every ult. The game's getting a little bit less value from there. They didn't get any shatter. They didn't have the bomb up, but they didn't get the value from there because they had it too late. And Legion, most impressively, is that Wolf used that transcendence earlier in the fight. It's gonna have another. Did quite a bit of damage to build up. 82% to be sure. Legion, give me take a page out of Chicken Contendi's book. Being the aggro here in the hold again. Heavy pressure on the gig. Sorry, Bubble already down. They know it. They're moving forward. They force out the beat early. Chicken Contendi's going to answer with a beat of their own. And they're still looking for gig. They're going to find them on the left hand side. And now they can move forward. They get the Brigida down right after the front line decimated. And Legion get another successful fight. Another successful fight. Hold the point, only having to trade the beat. They're going to have the grab very soon, have Shatter. Anchor potentially holding a position where they might set up this flank Shatter. I think they might be expecting Contendi's drop off the high ground. He, he's definitely going for a play that you can't go every time as Ryan, but you can go for a few times in a series. However, Contendi's goes in from off angle. Not a good spot from the action. Get surprise Shatter instead. Going to be taken for a ride. Gig, bring him off to the side. Anchor under heavy pressure, stuck in the ground side. But what a rope counter Shatter on the other side. Knocks down three and keeps Legion in the fight. Graviton or no, Panker can move forward at 30%. Looking more like the Panker of old right now. Right now, that Shatter is so, so influential. Kidneys, they need to back out. They're gonna get staggered here if they get caught by this aggression from Panker. They are staggering. This is so bad for Contendies. And Contendies, they just continue to have this issue where when ultimates aren't involved, they're great. But once you get to the part of actually cycling alt economy in an impactful way, it gets very difficult. Really good eat from Bishu there, denying, or from Salty, I should say, denying Dalton's grab, but even without it, they were able to win the fight. But the counter shatter from Anchor, even Rob down on the ground, so no Here comes Kavini once again. This is final fight territory. So start gonna move in. And Salty takes down three! Well set up there from Chicken Contendies. Just gonna get them back into the fight, something that we didn't really see last round. Huge bomb. Partially set up from the aggression of Contendies. Salty is a player that definitely been a solid member for this squad, but we haven't given enough credit at times. Now Contendies holding point. Getting ready to set up. Dalton will have the grab. Can Salty eat it again? 
We'll have to see. Contendees at 73%, certainly would like to bring things here to around three. Legion, meanwhile, get dropped in off the top. Panker, coming up to Shatter in reserve. Shatter gonna be coming in first from Gig here. Doesn't do much. Panker, Shatter on the other side, gets down Gig. Exactly what the Legion are looking for here. And advantage, gonna move forward and Contendees. They feel pressure, they have to try and win this fight. They can't let the Legion take her at 99%. But the barrier barely keeps them alive here. Perhaps not gonna be used by Harp. Contendees wounded, not out yet, but the Transcendence. Keeps most of each alive. Rob, though, was able to get water. So water, once more, kicked off. As Rob Talk comes in from Alton and doesn't do much. Rob is doing so much work right now. Rob is doing a lot. He's going to get the transcendence as well for this post fight. They're going to be so healthy here on the point. Bijou out of mech. Legion, this is very, very tough. Legion's in a really rough spot right now. Contendi's looking to force around three, and it's looking like they're about to do it. Rule hanging out here in the back. I'd like to build the transcendent stall just a little bit, but and does just that. I don't think that's gonna be enough for them to turn the fight, but still good all building nonetheless while most of your team is down. He should be coming up with the bomb, so that's gonna be their really only win condition for the next fight, but not even able to touch the back line for Contendi's doing so much in that fight. Huge boot from Zolik. They're able to keep Buck alive. And in addition to that, they're also able to just build the transit time. Rob doing a lot of work. Rob was doing quite a bit there, uh, no doubt. And, I mean, it just brought Chicken Contendies back to the fight. Also, for Salty, a big bomb when needed most, not set up by the standard bomb setups that you see. So it's a mark of a good diva, right? When you're able to get big bombs without having a Graviton or a Shatter being the immediate setup to it. Now Contendies, Legion tied up here on the Zhong 1-1. Looking to see who gets the first map win. Now going back in, round number three, as Chicken Contendies look to continue their surge. Legion looking to just rebalance here, get back to the Legion of old. We do have disparity here this time, as Bishu is on the Sombra. It is a 3-3. Contendies are going back to spawn to swap. They see this triple DPS with Panker on the Hammond. And they're going to go make these swaps and put Gig onto the Winston. Rob, Rob Dab onto the Moira. And they get that pick on the crossing, actually catching Rob Dab with the spam. Also, I think this could be a much better set for the Legion just because you're putting water here onto the Farah. Water was not having a good time with the Brigida. It was getting isolated easily. Harder to isolate a Farah, I would say. Water is very well known as well from the Legion. From that, you know, specific Legion as an excellent projectile player. See how aggressive he's being here. He has no fear. No fear of being punished at all. And I do think there should be a little bit of fear given what's been going on in the series, but so far he's getting away with it on the Farah. You have a diva in his face right now, but Mercy healing him all the while. Returning fire on the salty chicken said he's trying to make the focus her point. And the barrage gonna be coming out here. And water gets water for immediately falling. Resurrection though, right in the face of it. Rope brings it back up, and this still could work out pretty well for the Legion. This could, I think continues need to leave right now. They are gonna be dying on point anyways, so they have to leave. Uh Panker. Is this a stagger? They're doing a stagger here on to Rob. As Moira. <laughs> They were just knocking uh, him back and forth with the pinball maneuver. Well, I think it took Rob a moment to realize, wait, they're not actually going to fish me off. I need to go throw myself off the ledge. So now continues have to come back in here again. The Legion's hold here has been pretty immaculate, just getting so much damage early, getting a lot of poke, forcing those cooldowns. And Bishu has EMP. EMP's in reserve. Good damage onto Diva as well from Dalton in the back. And meanwhile, Water again being pretty impressive here. See if Bishu decides to go for the MP. Don't think he's gonna go for it now. Gonna swap back over. Goes in as they're all clustered together and works out. Sets up Dalton to get pick off. Ludi gonna move in for the boop. And Legion with very good control here. About to be 70 to zero. And I gotta say, they do look better with water on the projectile DPS. A lot better. I think Dalton as well as a force on the Widow. More so even than on the Zarya. So Legion still holding point. No EMP. Beat coming up. Continues, they invested the coalesces there for this fight. They still do not have the grab. So not a lot of resources. Tendi's going bridge side here. Very, very risky stuff versus the far other. Lucky no one got pooped away. And again, Rob immediately being dunked on. Water at the barrage reserve. As even his face, of course. Let's be careful about that. Now, moving back forward. Still man advantage for the Legion. And the barrage can be dropped. We'll summon Diva to him. But in the end, he's gonna live, doesn't even sacrifice his life. Harblue gonna fall, and Chicken Kenny's just eating too much poke damage. On the way in here, Legion in a very firm spot, even as Wolf is under pressure and falls. They pay a heavy price for trying to dive in here, as the Legion are in a very good spot. They should be able to retake quickly. That'll be the round, and the map. The beat comes out for Zolik, but it's not gonna keep them alive for too long. 
It's just cleanup kills right now. And Bishu has been getting some incredible hacks. I mean, the entry pick onto Rob on Moira was because of the hack. Bishu could not shift away. Dalton just picking off contendees left, right, and center as they try and stagger back in. Overtime, it's going to be gone. The Legion fight their way back in. And, you know, again, they're looking better right now. Are they looking as good as they should be for their experience? Debatable. But the biggest thing that really came out to me, two, two observations. One, Panker seemed more like his normal self, not the inconsistency we saw in their matches versus Bermuda. And two, the more water is not on Brigida, probably the better for the squad. Water is a force on projectile heroes. He's a projectile mm -hmm. specialist. He's a very, very strong DPS player, but he does have those inconsistent moments with Brigitte, on the Brigida role in particular. Panker looked very good. I, also something to note was that despite Rob having incredible Zen performance in the previous round, his Moira was, he was just getting caught a lot with spam, which really should not be an option. Obviously, Bishu was doing a great job on trying to keep hacks on him so he could not shift away. But it is something to note is like when you swap to the Moira, the point is you're trying to be more survivable. Yeah, the entire idea is that you're not going a Zen where if people dive on you, you don't have great options to get away other than just doing more damage to them in the moment, right? The Moira can actually shift away. You can drop an orb. You can make things very annoying for the other team. But Water was very good at applying pressure with Bishu, as you mentioned. And it was something where chicken contendees weren't super adaptable to it. However, as we move forward, we are going to be in more situations where you have to run 3-3 versus 3-3. And right now for Legion, that's definitely pretty, uh, I would say it's a situation it's up where in the air. Yeah, it's up you, in the air, I think. you can't really have a lot of faith in it. And, and it's something also to note <laughs> when we talk about the disparities between one round to the next in control is that I don't think Harblue built the grab that round of on, on Gardens <laughs> right there for Li Zhang. I don't think he built the grab in that last round. I'm not, I can't remember for sure, but at the end, he definitely did not build two grabs. And that's an in a whole round, it's pretty unlikely to not even build two ults as Zarya. Well, I think part of it is that you're not running against a tanky setup. You don't have the obvious targets to just, you know, look at and melt down the entire way through. And also the part where how many good, clean battles of chicken contendies even get there? Usually they Very were down new. someone early from the forest. So it was just a continual game of staggering for chicken contendies. And, you know, as you mentioned, not a great situation for Harblue. And I think that's a situation where you make swaps off of 3-3 if you want to, especially with Gardens against the Triple DPS. We see teams do it a lot. Sure, they get the more, they get the Winston, but there's opportunities as well where you can get a Widow. There's a Fair Mercy on the field. You get a Tracer. You know, there's there's options for you to contest the point to be more effective and don't have to worry about the spam nearly as much. And that's the mindset of a team that sometimes you're so used to the current meta, you, you just forget that the H key works and you can make swaps. It is a thing, but we're going to be moving on to our second map. Remember that this is first to three. It is not a four map set. We could be over as early as three if the Legion are able to take the next two. Of course, the flip side of that is that draws do not have the significance that they have in the regular season. We don't care about draws. The map essentially does not matter should that be the case. It vanishes. It vanishes, never to be seen again. Eichenwald going to be our hybrid. Second map of the series. As we get ready for both teams to come in here. And obviously, what we talked about earlier, Contendies are very, very comfortable on 3-3, three, three, so Eichenwald will definitely be maybe a little bit more consistent for them. However, there's strong possibility for fair play, especially for first. Very much so, and I think that definitely favors the Legion a bit here, where one thing that's worth noting in all of this is that we this is not a preset map rotation beyond the very first map, where the losing team does get to pick the map that comes next, so... This is a map that Chicken Contendies wanted to go to, even knowing that Water can play good far. So you would think they would have a game plan here, although I think back to previous seasons where teams had more map control, and you'd be surprised how often a team would be like, yeah, this is our map, we want to play it, and then they would proceed to just lose terribly. A lot of times when teams have map picks, it's not so much uh, we have a set strat and we know what we'll do here. It's rather we have a really good feeling about this map, <laughs> and we like this map. It generally goes pretty well for us, but there is actually no necessarily no scientific... Uh, like data to back up why they picked the map. It's, it's a feel. It's really just a so, feel. So you're saying there's coaching staffs in Overwatch that go more off feels. They're like, you know, we're going to throw the spreadsheets away. We feel good about it. Well, well, something to know is that Continues is not an academy team, right? True. They don't have dedicated paid staff, so they might not have the same level of resources and tools available to them. Uh, it could be just more player run. And, and it's always important to note that when you deal with map picks for academy versus non academy teams. So it will be interesting to see what comes out here. Legion, I would definitely suspect that at least the Farah is going to be for real, and that is going to be the case. Don't be mouse swapping over to the Zarya. So Legion can be running something a little bit more DPS heavy here. Don't expect Rulf to stay on the Widow. I know he's going to swap that off. And 
They were just using that to scout, yeah. having water look over the top, and now they're gonna probably go through the VI magic. Yeah, there it is. So, not gonna go for water on the Mars here. Tendi's meanwhile holding back, not staying at the choke. See how we can approach us here. Definitely taking their time on doing it. Salty is behind, trying to get this get some of this location there with the poops. Bubbles traded. Early poke on both sides. Legion definitely getting the worst of it, but Panker able to get an early pick off on the gig. Gets low, and, along with Vishu, but the Legion don't let anyone fall. They get the burst on the gig, and now they're in a fantastic spot to take point A outright. The, the fight happened so early, though, that Katinis will have time to not only taxi back those spawners, but be able to contest them. But they need to be very, very quickly. I don't know if this contest is going to be good as they move back in where, all right, Gig walks back out, but he's in a great position for Panker to just move in on him and already two pickups right away. The back line decimated by Water and Bishu. It, it was actually a double mistake there because not only was the contest not great, but then they step off the point and it gets capped and they stagger themselves even further. They didn't really stop that much part time. Also, all the while, feeding the Legion more ults, giving up position on point B. This has been a very tough start for the contendies. And you see how aggressive Legion is holding here. They want to stop at the doors. They want to maybe get value from the Shatter for the rally very, very early. Get ults out of contendies, make them use their cooldowns to get out. And Salty just ate a boatload of damage early on. I got backing up a bit. Contendies retakes the shank. Shatter from the top rope. Gonna be knocking down three. Kick just dropped off the high ground, brought the hammer to the ground. They get water off it immediately. Now we're going to see the ball through here. Graviton in for Legion. Bomb in and connects. Bishu with three, turning the tide. That was a great charge from Tanker there as well. They recognize Legion. They recognize they can still win the post fight despite the Shadow fight. The trans is being traded. And even with water down, they have combo early. They knew that Zola didn't have beat. Great setup from the combo there for Dalton and Panker. Also for Legion, just knowing that they could bring it back even down one, they decide to invest ultimates and it works out. So they get to keep their momentum here on point B and Chicken Contendi's a little bit drained. They're gonna have to hope that Hard Blue and Salty can get a combo. Hard Blue and Salty moving forward, trying to find this combo here. They knew they had to use combo very, very fast because Wolf is coming up on the Transcendence and Ludic does have that beat. Legion just moving on forward. Hard Blue having a tough time getting up to Graviton here. Waiting for the next 5% Legion. Also just waiting and building. And Salty just goes for it. Drops the bomb with no grab and connects. Takes down Ludi in the back. This actually works out for Chicken Contendies. It's surprising they didn't wait for the Graviton. But in this case, it's been good for them. That was a very, very ambitious setup. I would say as you see the cleanup frags happening here, they do manage to make it work. But they invested beat. They invested beat in a fight where they're gonna have to be worried about a combo coming up very soon. They're only saving Grace there. It's not only did they win the fight, but they got Shatter out of Panker. So, and, and Shatter is a very, very strong ultimate here on the bridge leading to the second. There's a lot of ability set it up very strong. So, Chicken Contendies in a reasonable spot here. The bomb from Salty puts him in a better spot in ult economy. Legion, though, plenty of time here. Three minutes left. See hard move. They were trying to set it up, trying to control the high ground here for this grab. Going to be escorted out. Legion's clearing that high ground. Maybe going to drop back onto the bridge or even rotate from the castle side. They are going to be dropping. So there's no shadow for Panker, by the way. Zinke. So Gig is, is going to be looking to get this set up. Gig holding on back here. Legion really took their time to I'm get back to the safe spot really they were at before Hard Blue. Early really ground talk to be answered by the beat. And oh! Eva almost getting knocked off there. He boost right back on up to over. So he's still in the fight. Shatter in from Gig. Going to be knocking up quite a few in the back. Chicken Tendi forward to get the clean up. One boop off the edge. Deserves another. Lude striking back. And here the Legion here comes the Legion. They drop the ground their own. They're moving on in. This is very winnable now for the Legion. Could be forcing out the beat from Chicken Tendi's on the other side. Hard blue. Steaming down. High energy. Doing some decent work here. The Legion starting the bleed. Bishu gonna be losing his mech, and that's gonna be it. He's gonna let himself fall. And the Legion must reset down another minute. You know, Gig Shatter was great, forced a lot of ults, but they didn't really have too much cleanup. It was really the boops. It was Zolik that did a lot of the work there for them, getting the boot kill and having that clutch beat to deny the Legion cleanup on the grab. So, Chicken Tendies off of that. Now look towards the next round. The next fight as the Legion set up here. And you, you take a look at this. Uh, Bishu does have Bob move in. He's going to set up with the early Bob. Tanker builds up chat midway through the fight. Bomb, not gonna do it for Water Leon. Gig under pressure. The Shatter in for Panker does too much. Ends up giving his life to try and set it up, and Contendi's gonna shrug most of it off. They, are, they, should, they should be able to pick up Lodi, but Lodi, he goes in deep, actually gets the frag there. 
It's gonna be very, very key for right now. Big has the shield still up, but there's no ults. There's zero ults. There's zero sustain for Kintendi. Groudon moves in. The Legion firing through. And they're able to turn that fight more towards their favor in the very end, building up ults midway through. And now, Chicken Kintendi should be giving this up. They are getting these spawners, but I don't think they're gonna contest. Very firmly in control of the Legion here. It's gonna be the fight for third now. Hanker Shatter so crucial there. I like to use the Legion bomb to deny a lot of space to get the Legion to get into the uh, Heavy damage going on the gate. Giga moves forward, was looking for the Shatter, ends up feeding himself into the other side. The Legion, a barrier just to make sure. Now they're gonna move forward. They know they have the advantage. There's no gig to get in their way. And Chicken City just go completely back to spawn here. They don't want to feed anything. They want to wait for a full six, but all the while the Legion are pushing. That was a really rough fight for Contendi's continuing that gig. Loses the Shatter. Rob also invests the trance to keep him alive. They don't have it now. And Dalton's currently building towards that grab. Well, Dalton building. Our blue's still in Here comes a rally in from water. Barrier gonna be used here by Contendi's early on. Answer by Transcendence on the other side. Legion. Hunter's time midway through. Panker dropping the hammer. Four to the floor. And the Legion just walk on up after that one. Man advantage, damage advantage as well. And this could be all the Legion need to finish out point C. The aggression from Water just setting that up beautifully. Despite trading ults, the ults were fine to be traded for Legion because they had the overall advantage. So it's gonna be Legion just casually moving into point C off of what can only be described as a mammoth shatter into Panker. Into the Panker's definitely been showing a, a much more consistent trend, I think, in his main tank play right now in playoffs. Hopefully contenders, it continues throughout the playoffs for Panker because he's a central component, a pillar for Legion. Well, you look back to previous seasons and we, we praised him to the point that it almost became a meme for other teams, but Panker has always been the heart and soul of Legion in previous seasons and Panker having troubles in previous games definitely was a bad omen. I think it's why Legion struggled so heavily versus a team like Bermuda. But now he seems to be back in his usual form. And more importantly, when you take a look at the time being set there, Minute 22, which means that Chicken Contendies not only do they have to finish out the map, they have to do it with time remaining, which is much easier said than done here in Eichenwald. So now Contendi is going to be on the offense. Mike is going to be running the 3 3, pretty bread and butter for them. Legion probably doing the same. And it is going to be a tough task. Eichenwald is not a map that you see completely very fast catching that third all the time, especially considering how easy it is to hold third often through those, those chokes. The closest of the spawn. So there's a task ahead. For oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Legion, again, not on their defense here, unless they get just completely rolled over, I don't think there's a whole lot of pressure on them going in. I mean, no matter what, they're going to get an extra round. And again, it's going to be hard for Contendies to set as good of a time. Now you take a look at both teams. It's going to be 3 3 versus 3 3 here once more. So Contendies, they roll out of here. Legion is going to a little bit of scout. Having Bichu looking to spawn. It's so important to watch here. You see that early bubble from Harbu? That means he's going to have to sit here at the choke a little bit. They're also a little low from spam. Heal up, get the bubble back, and then look for the next push. Bichu Jamal just hanging back. And now they're looking for the isolation of the Panker. They tried to poop him back into this place, but don't quite do that. Instead, they end up overextending. Gig falls early in turn, and Panker's shield might be getting low, but take a look to the back. Rob? Looking for something in the back line, but for the most part, Legion pretty okay. They've only lost water here so far, but that's not going to be enough for movement. Definitely won't. It'll be able to be taxi back there as well. We've been seeing Gig actually open up a lot of these neutral fights, or even the non-neutral fights with charges, which is really risky in 3-3 yeah. in particular, because if you use those cooldowns early, it's very tough to keep your Rhino alive. Also, you get to the point where the other team is just expecting it. It was working versus Legion back in that one, but now they're just going, okay, we know Gig's gonna be moving in. Speaking of Gig moving in, Gig eating a lot of damage on entry here. Look back up with otherwise, but while they're healing Gig, they're not healing Salty. Salty, gonna get deep to early. Water them, get out of the fight super early. Transcendence, man advantage. Now forward they go, another charge in from Gig. Tendi's threatening here. Legion, they decide to fight it back with a grab of their own. I don't know if the Falter's gonna be there though. They're down so many players that it doesn't really amount to much. Dalton actually sacrificed his life in a lot of ways to get to some of that early isolation and allow for the push to happen for continues to get two picks there. And the grab for Dalton, not value. Really not value. They didn't even have to, they didn't even have it up and there was no cleanup available. 
It was a questionable grab for sure. I mean, again, it's just hard to get valuable cleanup when you're down as many players as the Legion were there. So Chicken Tendi sending a pretty quick time here in point A. Legion, though, to their credit, at the very least, they don't get snowballed on. They have time to set up their point B defense. At the point B defense, they will not have the consistent up, and Harpoon still has that grab. It is so important. Legion's gonna have to look at the zone here with the rally, with the bomb, and wait for B. Giga moves forward, holding on to the shatter. Early barrier in for Contendies are trying to take the fight pretty heavily, and they do just that. Gig taking down two very quickly here. Panther and Water down immediately as the early focus fire onto Water just continues. It feels like every fight, he's the main target for the Contendies. I think Water also has a history of knowing, of not knowing where to be. Uh, he wants to be enabling the background, the, the front line, I should say, be very, very aggressive. And he's not adjusting his position accordingly because as you talked about ZP, they're, they're focusing him very often. So now we're going to the bridge fight here and Contendies, if they're able to take this fight here and now, they'll be way ahead in time bank and very much back in this game. Early bomb out here from Salty straight to the back. Not going to do what they want. He keeps Legion healthy. The Shatter coming in the other side. Panker down on the floor, but he's back up. He has a Shatter of his own. He's going to let it fly. Knocks down Salty. On the other side, but Salty's still A-OK. -okay. Both teams in it. The payload moving forward. Legion need to get onto it. Use the grab to take down one early. Not for Graviton. Legion now starting to get some crucial clean. Finally, they have stopped the cart. They had to invest a lot of ults. The grab, the Shatter, the beat, the ball. I mean, really everything. Contendi's doing much the same. A rough position to be stopped at because now they're in this position where they have to either approach bridge or go through the natural choke point in castle. The, I mean, two natural choke points. And they don't really have a lot in the bank. And I mean, that's a key part there, right? Where they don't have much, they're probably going to have to go for one or two eco fights here. Not more. And Wolf, what a key pickoff. Finding Buck early on. Now down to Brigida. Legion saying, it's go time. We're going to dive on into you and we're going to restore our power. Drags, five seconds over there, off that first thing for the wolf. Still just cleaning up, moving spawn. Didn't even have to invest any ult for Legion either. Winning the fight, not having to use anything in the neutral game. Gonna be building a pretty significant bank. And of course, Wolf a veteran in the flex support role, but that's also what someone good in that role can give you, where if you're a Zenyatta, can get just one or two early pickoffs over the course of a map, you do wonders for your ult. Now Contendi's still trying to rotate here through the lower. They don't want to take a lot of damage. You see, look how aggressive Panker is. He drops down, tries to get the shatter to not get anything. Pretty highly charged as well. Real close to have to grab out right. So Legion, fight pressure. Get used to shatter, gets a whole lot of nothing on the other side. Rally up to the Legion. They don't quite dive in after Contendi's, but they're okay with this right now. The payload's gone back quite a bit, and the bot's significant amounts of time. Now they're going to go all the way around. They were trying to hunt. Dolan could look like maybe the gig now making the rotation once again on the bridge. There's the early grab for Harv. Rauton out early. Wolf gonna transcend. Say, look, we're gonna keep people alive. Salty goes, no, let's first see on down. self destruct right in the middle. Leads it though. Will work around and self destruct to their own. Out from Bishu. Harp Blue though, doing damage on the other side, taking down two. It was Gig Shatter there. The rotation was out. The grab, the post grab fight. Gig is able to hit a gigantic shatter, denying the cleanup on the grab and also setting up Harv. You see this is absolutely flying Bijou, he's up in the air, D-Mech, gonna be cleaned up right now, just staggered here for Legion. Wait, the beat, they're trying to commit, they're trying to commit to this fight. This is real questionable here for the Legion, that's putting it mildly, going back in, could be genius, could be insanity, but right now, trending more towards insanity, they buy a little bit of time, but for the investment and for the just eating, Towards contendies. I don't think that was worth it. Considering they didn't even have Shatter for the weak contest, they didn't have a lot of old Bishu was dead. I don't agree with the beat from Lodi there. I think they just wanted to get that extra contest time. If anything, maybe just set up for Panker. But the chokes are so rough to recontest. Now, this is still a decent spot here for the Leech, and it's still likely they'll have at least quicker time slots so are able to win one more fight. And they still have the possibility of going to over time. Here comes Salt on self destruct. Layer it in right to the back. Gonna get one. Okay, helping set up for Shatter. And this is a big team fight here for the Contendies. One more fight away from evening this up in full. But they used Shatter, they used Bomb. And obviously the Rally was used at the previous point. Legion can recontest with the Trance, with the Shatter. They're gonna have a Rally of their own. They have a lot of ults in their, in their bank for this fight. Contendies, it almost might be better if they don't get a pick early. to just not invest anything. Fully agreed. I, Legion, they're gonna get out in full. All six back on the field here. Hanker moving forward, looking for the Shatter. Drops the Shatter, knocks down three. And that's gonna be easy 
for the Legion to move back out, set up by Panker. And now things get very tough here for contendies where even if they'd like to save, they have to go all out in the next fight because if they don't, they're not going to finish without going into overtime. That was the rally. Shatter invested. Good bash for water there, just removing the barrier, allowing that Shatter to come out. Contendi's now going to have to move across the bridge, take the, deal with the spam pressure. But they did save ults. They did not use the grab. They didn't use the beat. They do have ults that they need to win the next fight. If Arb can set up a good grab here, at least to get the transcends out from Wolf early. It would be even better if they somehow pressured it out, but I think they're going to have to invest grab to do that. They will probably have to invest grab to get the trench out from Wolf. They need to worry about the counter grab and the bomb print up to be Dalton very, very soon. He's going to be transcended trading out both sides in response to the Graviton. Gang, though, early pick off water down first again. Self destruct in here from Legion. And the contendies off the early Brigida pick. They're starting to do it. They're moving forward. Legion, they need to shift gears. They need to delay this for another 25 seconds, but it's too decisive. The contendies get forward. They finish the point. And now both teams get an attack an extra round. Great setup there for contendies. It's being very, very aggressive. Denying the space for Dalton to set up the grab. And in return, because of the shatter from Gig, he's able to reposition. He doesn't have to worry about Panker. And blocks all the damage from the Bishu's bomb there as well. That aggression saves contendies there in the engagement. So Contendi is still alive. Legion could be working with extra time here. But of course, if Contendi's is able to get point A on the first attack, then time quickly doesn't matter because you essentially, of course, turn into an escort map where overtime can be quite long and you can go for many a fight, even sometimes all the way to the end. So the key here for the Legion is going to be have a good early defense, win the very first fight, and let that be it. Give yourself a full two minutes to get into point A. Winning the first fight when the when the team on the offense only has a minute, almost always, I, I would say the majority of the time. I don't have the stats here. I don't have Captain Planet <laughs> there to feed into my ears, but uh, I, I, it is more likely than not going to guarantee you the first hold there. If I was Captain Planet, I'd give us the obvious stat. I'd say the team with four points uh, wins the map 100% of the time. It's not wrong. Uh, that's we are that's, just that's the definitely obvious. true. You can't argue with that. I would also like to make sure that if Vlade is getting his beats, he's been a little uh, overly optimistic with the beats as well. Also lost the beat in that last defense there, but I mean, the fight was already legitimately over for the most part, so not entirely his fault. The contendies going to have to move forward with haste here at the very least. If they die early, they could get a second fight, but they're taking their time, which means that this could just be a one fight attempt here at first. I mean, 20 seconds off the clock already from the approach, from the entry. Wolf got really low early on. Panker in a tough spot, stunned in the corner. But Water able to help defend. Panker still so low and yet still somehow alive. Able to get away. Chicken Contendies unable to chase down the threat. And now Panker's going to heal back up. He's moving back on in. The lack of getting that pick off so painful for Contendies as the Legion now are in a very good spot to take on Kimball. They, I mean, they have 15 seconds to reapproach the point. So I, I think if anything, Salty or Zolik, they're going to have to go above, maybe even go a bit over the roof here and go touch point. Seven seconds left. Here from Legion is look at the alternate pathways, make sure no one gets a point. They're still gonna touch it, but now they move forward immediately punishing Buck and Gig. They had no choice they had to get onto the point. But you lose two people for free, it's not gonna be a fight you're gonna win. The Legion, hold on here in Eichenwald, and now the Experience worst they can do is a draw. But on the flip side, for contendies. Draws don't mean yeah, anything. A, a draw is not bad here. A draw just means, you know, we mulligan the map, it's gone, it doesn't mean anything. And once again, we talked about how Gig is often initiating with these charges. He did it again there. He charges extremely aggressively onto Bishu. He does have the Discord there. They did have the focus fire onto him. But because he goes so deep, they've already used all their cooldowns. They, they don't have that follow up for him. And he continues to go deep after. Contendi is just so aggressive to the point where often it can come back to bite you. You need to realize that being extremely aggressive and charging in particular is Ryan, why there's so much damage, so much focus, fire, potential in 3-3, you can be evaporated. And the problem there is that there are times where that can work, even if the charge doesn't connect the way that Gig might be looking for, but you kind of have to go for a variant of the bumper effect that you see with Vancouver Titans, right? Where, okay, bumper goes in and dies early, but so much is done from the early initiation that you still win the team fight. The problem is Gig is going in early and the rest of contendies aren't doing enough damage to Legion to actually make that worthwhile. And it's a measured play as well. It's not only do you require your team to follow up and do a lot of damage post-charge, but there's a setup there to it. They, you don't just charge because I'm charging. You see the cooldowns come out. You see that the armor pack's been used that you know saves a lot of burst healing. And I don't think contendies are nearly keeping track of, the, of those cooldowns enough. 
Well, the stakes right now for contendees hold here or face the prospect of needing to reverse sweep in this first to three series. Gonna get some swaps here, of course. Wolf going back to the Zen water, going into Brigida. Legion still playing this measured, uh, not assuming anything about the contendees' composition before seeing it with their own eyes. See here, Bishu just making sure to clear the, faint, the flank, just trying to keep uh, Salty off of there. As Rob gets the early right click under Wolf, winning those in duels is so important. That is so big for Chicken Contendies. It gives them a free fight. Now, Gig is off the map. But Panker takes him off with him, yeah. so now, he, I mean, they just traded there, which is good because they already have that initial frag. So the interesting thing about that for Panker is that doing that maneuver gives you quite a bit of ult charge. Like, you look at Panker right now, and up. does give you quite a bit of ult. As you see, they're moving back in, looking to recontest. Time to read my APM. He fixed our screen. As contendies, they're on point here. Legion approaching. Panker does have that shatter off that charge that you talked about, ZP. 92% right now for Panker. Water under heavy pressure. So is Panker. Panker's down. The focus fire for Chicken Contendies connecting. And now the Legion. Gonna be down to one more final attempt. They'll have a shatter up for it, but Contendies not going to be drained much at all in return. Contendies down a very good spot to make this draw, to make all the pain of Viking Vault go away. They're in such a good spot right now. They have the Transcendence, they have Shatter, they have, they have so much in their bank. Legion, they're coming up on it, but they are behind. They've been losing the spam duel, they've been losing the fights. Legion have to make a play, this is the last fight. Final opportunity here, 22 seconds. They can wait a little bit because at this point it doesn't matter. You know it's a final fight here. So, oh, flanking Shatter in for Panker! But Rob gonna answer a Transcendence, gonna keep Contendies alive all the way. Side, our blue moving forward, charge up, good to go. Graviton comes in for the Legion, but it's a bit late. Nishu gets back in back. Dalton now starting to do some work. The Legion fighting their way back into the point. Finger under pressure. Dalton continuing to do damage on the flank, and that's going to be it. They don't touch points. The Legion, they just stand the point. Contendies don't realize it. And now the Legion up two to nothing here in the series. And he did it again, ZP. Mm. Gig did it again. He charges. He charges again. He had the better counter shatter as well. Has Panker on the ground. They're able to deny to keep everyone alive. I mean, something that Panker did very importantly was not just looking for the opportunity to flank shatter, but he forces transcendence from Rob. Yeah. He forces it extremely early before the grab is out for Dalton. And then Gig gets a great counter shatter, but charges again. Charges again, and he's down. He's punished for his aggression. So those two plays right there, Panker's flank shatter forcing the transcendence and Gig going too deep is... And, you know, you have to learn from your mistakes. You have, that, that's what's great about having a, a, a developed brain, about being humans, is that we learn from our mistakes. So what you're saying, though, is that if he's not learning from his mistakes, if you were part of the coaching staff for Chicken Contendies, you would I, go over to his keyboard I'd be like, with a screwdriver and remove his shift key. I would remove talking. the shift key. I would make sure that Gig has learned that, you know, charge is good sometimes, especially for setting up your bomb combos. But maybe just, just, you know, just chill. Chill a little bit, Gig. Just, just a bit. But Chicken Contendies, after their late season surge, on the verge of el elimination here by a much better Legion team here so far. Will they be able to come back? Will they be able to go for the reverse sweep? We'll find out in just a few moments.